I'd just like to thank Claire for her administration and also for Donna for doing this recording today. Um, and let us begin because this is a time and a season where we need to lay before God all that we are doing. And so we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Advent prayer is now going to be welcomed by St Catherine's Girls' School, who will begin our opening prayer. We light the second candle of Advent in the circle of God's eternity, a circle as green as the earth, where Jesus came to live with us. We light the second candle of Advent to celebrate the young girl, Mary, bearing the glory of the Godhead to a waiting world. We light the second candle of Advent for ourselves, for we too are given the task to bear the light of Christ into the dark places. The theme this week is all about patient hope, and nobody experienced such patient hope than Mary herself. And we listen to the words of the Gospel in Luke, which tells us of the price that she only she paid but also that she was willing to give up for the sake of our world. In the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord of God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God. It's an important time for us to remember that we all live in a hope and in anticipation of great hope. And in the same way that Mary said, how can it be? There is often that question also in our own hearts. And so we listen now to the words of Archbishop John in this video. Hello everyone, it's Archbishop John here speaking to you from my chapel here at Archbishop's house. And I want to be with you on this second week, this second part of our journey through Advent. You can see we now have two candles lit on our Advent wreath. We're continuing to prepare for Christmas, but remembering too that Advent is a time when we look forward to Christ coming again in glory at the end of time. He who was born in Bethlehem one day will return. This is our faith, this is our hope. We have not been abandoned. Advent is a time of preparation, when we learn from Our Lady, the Mother of the Lord Jesus, 
Mary heard the message of the angel Gabriel and she responded with faith. A message which invited her to become the mother of the Son of God by the Holy Spirit. And to that invitation, Our Lady said yes, even though she had to wait patiently for what was promised to her to come to fulfilment. I wonder how patient you are. I have to say I'm not always very patient. And sometimes we become impatient about very small things, very insignificant things. In Advent we ask Mary to teach us to wait patiently, to believe that God has a plan for us just as he had a plan for her. Her plan was to become the mother of Emmanuel, a beautiful name which means God is with us. God's plan for her was for her to become the mother of all the disciples of her son, united under one heavenly father, because we are all brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus. So as we wait patiently, we don't do so alone. We wait with Our Lady, with Mary, in faith for God's promises to be fulfilled. And what God wants for us is always our good, because he loves us. This is sometimes easy to accept when everything is going well, when life is good. But we need to remember it too during the difficult times in life, when our faith becomes a real comfort to us, a real strength for us. So we remember when life is tough for ourselves or people around us, or because of situations in our world, that God is Emmanuel, God is with us, God is present in our hearts, in his church, in our world. So we are people of great hope and faith and joy, who wait patiently for God's promise to be fulfilled. We're not perfect people. We often make mistakes. We sometimes fail to do what is right, but there is a way back. And Advent is a wonderful time to think about God's mercy and forgiveness, always available to us. Some of you will have made recently or be preparing to make your first confession, to go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation and receive God's mercy. For others, it may be a while since you've been to confession. Please be encouraged this Advent to come before the Lord and to ask for his forgiveness, to cleanse you and to prepare you to make your heart the place where Christ is born this Christmas. Because we do this every time when we come to Mass, we prepare ourselves to receive Holy Communion. But how important too, that we go to confession. Advent is a time to remain alert. The scriptures tell us to stand up, to be attentive. This means that we have to listen with our ears, and with our heart. It means we have to serve, especially in the good things that we do for others, motivated by God's love for us. The angel Gabriel came to Mary with a message from God. That angel, that messenger, is an example to us that we too must be like Gabriel's, bringing God's message of hope and love and of forgiveness and echoing Gabriel's words do not be afraid because God loves us God is with us God loves you God is with you all God asks is our response that the love he has given us is shown in our lives to him and to others because he loved us first so let's continue our journey, especially staying close to Mary, so that we can say with her, may God's word be fulfilled in us, because we too are the Lord's servant. We too wait in patient hope. And we thank the Archbishop for his words. Heavenly Father, we give thanks and praise for Mary, our mother in faith, 
and we ask today for her intercession, that we may rejoice in our salvation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us in hopeful anticipation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to thank you for coming to our Lent reflection and wish you a really lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye.